brand new old adventure today. I am back at a spot that I was at a few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago now. Uh, had just drained the river, this creek was up a little bit, but I found a part of an epaulette and a sword scabbard right here where I'm standing. And I thought I'd come back and take a look around and see if we could find some more, especially since the creek is down now and I can get up under that log pile right there because that log pile is where i found the epaulet right in that grassy area in the middle of the creek so i'm thinking it got washed up out of that gravelly air gravelly stuff there underneath the log pile so directly underneath there might be some good stuff now i think this was built up stone that was used as a ford there's a little bit of wood there you know i found a few things in this area to include this wheel which i did not bring home because it's really heavy and this cannon axle, I don't know if you remember the picture of this. It's a little risky, I know. But um, I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take it this time. And uh, this somehow went on here like that, maybe. I'm not even sure how that worked, to be honest with you. But it's pro part of this wagon wheel. Like I said, we're going to take that. So I haven't even started detecting yet. I just got my stuff out, put together. And I was standing here kind of looking around trying to figure this area out and I see my first relic I hadn't turned the machine on yet I was looking at this piece of wood trying to figure out if this was actually part of the crossing and I was following it up just like that following it back down just like that looking looking look so I have to ask you now did you see what I saw did you be honest now don't be fooling me anyway if you look at the wood can you go up it what do you think that is Oh, I can tell you what that is. That's American Civil War bayonet. That's just like jammed in the rocks. That's 100% a bayonet. Isn't that cool? Just eyeball it. Looky. Now, when I say a bayonet, I guess I should have said a partial bayonet because um, obviously the socket, this is the socket part. That's what attached to the rifle with a mus ah, musket. Is mostly rotted off and you can see the triangular blade i found a relic the other day and i talked to you a little bit about that and it's either been rotted away or cut down but yeah so that would have gone on the end of the musket like that now i want to tell you something too some guy was i saw a comment somewhere in one of my videos about how um you know they no soldier would go into battle without having their their musket or their rifle uh with a bayonet on it already and you can't do that. I'm going to tell you why right now. One thing, the officers would have to order you to put the bayonets on it. Because if you took this bayonet, and here's the, you know, the muzzle of the rifle sticking up like there's a musket. It goes in there like that. It's sticking straight up in, air, in the air. And don't forget, these are muzzle loaders. If you're trying to load a bullet in here, that's no problem. Pour the powder in, pour the bullet in. You take the ramrod out, and guess what you have to do? You have to come down like this. So you're coming down onto this point trying to load your musket and it just makes it really, really hard to do. You never fix the bayonet until the officer said, one, we're getting ready to charge, fix bayonets, or two, um, you know, they're gonna overrun us, fix bayonets. You know, get one shot and that's it. You're going, you're going with the steel. In modern wars, it's different because you don't load them through the muzzle like that. You just put magazines in. You don't have to get near the muzzle, so you don't have to worry about ramming your hand like that. That is a falsehood that the guy was saying that you'd always go into battle with a fixed bayonet. Anyway, let's get to uh, quit talking. Let's go find some stuff. I can't remember if I showed you this before too, but it's just another little side story on this spot right here. Look at the soil profile over here. You see the hard clay, hard clay down there. Then you see some sticks right there. And then a mound, like a bunch of dirt and stuff. And it's kind of got that shape. What that is, is a beaver dam. This is an old beaver dam. Uh, could be, you know, could have been a hundred years old. But you know, there's a nail sticking out of it. No, not a nail. Yeah, you can even see the stick right here has been chewed on by a beaver. I've worked in the area now for about half an hour and I have found nothing old. Well, I've got one target I'm going to show you that's kind of interesting. But throughout this area up here where I thought we were really going to maybe do good, I mean, nothing but can. That's a little forward or crossing area down there. I uh, found the scabbard thing there. The epaulette was right there. I was hoping this was going to be all washed out. Well, it is washed out. And there'd be stuff exposed in the banks or down through here like that. And I found nothing. I went up about halfway to that big tree. And I've hunted this before. So I didn't go any further than that. But you can see all the trash and stuff. Got a few little pieces of can, some aluminum. And that's about it, really. 
right here I found this blob of lead. If you look at it closely, it's definitely been flattened out. I thought we'd go ahead and look at this part of it together. Um, I have a, I think what might be a decent squeak. Oh, it's a birdie. I'm moving out of the corner of my eye. You can see there's a robin down there taking a bath. Uh, yeah, so I was digging right here in the rocks. Had a decent squeak. I got a, a little piece of barbed wire. And then I dug this nail. Like a square nail. But I got a good squeak right in there. And, um... I'm hoping it's something. I mean, it's not huge. Let's see what it is. Let me just clean it up a little bit. There we go. Now, can you see it? I'm looking through the viewfinder and I, I can't see anything. So let's get the pinpointer out. Let's do that again. It actually kind of works pretty good. I'll get that. Yep. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let that clear up and then we'll, well, it's clearing up pretty quick. I can't see it from here though. <laughs> I can't tell what it is. I'm just gonna grab a handful, of, we'll look at it together. I think it's right in here, whatever it is. Right. Ooh, ah, it's a horseshoe. <laughs> I guess we got it. All right, that's probably all it was. Check one more time. I'm going to work on that without the camera on. I'll put you away. If it's something good, I'll show it to you. I turned my metal detector off and just started using the pinpointer to root around. There's lots of iron in there. Uh, I got a few more nails and some barbed wire, which is suspicious because you would think that would be post-Civil War. Oh, I know it is, but it's under the rock. But I just got a good target. <laughs> a Civil War target. So we're not going to buy two. That's a Sharps bullet right there. That's from the American Civil War. Nice dropped specimen could be a hundred more in there i don't know i'm just going along with the pinpointer and just grabbing everything i hear like i think that's barbed wire not a hundred percent but i'm pretty sure and a lot of these nails i think you've seen some of those so it looks like i got another bullet over here <laughs> i'm pretty sure yeah uh it's got some black on it so that's making me believe it's probably um was lost well let's just clean it off <laughs> There might be a little bit of powder on there, powder stain, so there's probably more down there, I'm, I'm guessing. There's lots of signals, I got a bunch of iron, probably dug another dozen nails, and I'm just using this like this, and just going down in here, just kind of digging this hole out. And, uh, well, you can probably hear it beeping. The problem with pinpoint is you just don't know if it's iron or uh, non-iron. But where I had that bullet right here. I was hoping there'd be a pile more, but I'm not hearing any. I mean, I'll definitely run the metal detector over this before we're done. That was way down in the clay, too. We've got a little squeaker in this area right here. I haven't tried to grab it yet. Uh, I thought we'd do it together. Might have to grab some um, iron first, though. Yeah, we're not down to it yet. what's there but I know it's right in this spot here you might even be able to see it I don't know I'm looking through the viewfinder but I'm not seeing anything yet yeah that must be it right there is that it <laughs> nope I'm digging with my fingers and not the pick is because they don't want to damage whatever's down there it could be a belt buckle it could be gold coin or even a bullet. I don't want to scratch it up, so you got to kind of dig with your fingers. That might be it. Yeah, that's probably it right there. I think it's a bullet. Is it? No. I like the fact that it's deep in the clay. That's very encouraging. Uh, is that a bullet? Right there. Is it? Uh, 
not, that's not really working out too well. So I'm going to go have to and just grab it, you know, and show, show you what it is after the fact. Well, I had to get in there with a the pick and I kind of took the, just a point and I dug off to the side and pried some mud up. So hopefully we have it moved now. I'm just wearing the fingers out. So let's go under and take a look. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, it's a bullet. <laughs> After all that. Well, no, I'm happy it's a bullet. Another sharps. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. There's probably a bunch of them in here scattered around. We'll dig a few more. Well, maybe. We'll dig a little bit longer. Let's put it that way. And uh, maybe we'll just finish up here tonight because it's getting a little bit late and it's Friday night. And my wife is going to want me home. <laughs> That's our find so far. Again, lots of nails. But we do have a squeaker down here. I thought we'd look at it together. I haven't seen it yet. I don't even know if it's uncovered, but I think it's getting close. All right. <laughs> I'm positioned here. And let's put you under. We're close. Down in that clay, that's a good sign. Ah, soft. <laughs> I'm gonna take the pick and just get the blade under here and pry these rocks out of here. That'll make it a lot easier. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's out. Well, pink one is off. Ah, it's still in there. Wow. Okay, let me turn you off. I'll show you what it is as soon as I get it out. It's just a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it always is. Well, it wasn't a bullet, but I finally got it out. It was really, really deep in that clay. That is half or part of a horse's bit. Yeah, that would go in the horse's mouth. That's a bit. So we'll go ahead and put them in a pile. All right, this has to be the last target of the day. And I already dug it. And it's a cool little button. <laughs> Pretty close to where I dug the bullets. You can see some things down in there. It looks pretty interesting. We're definitely coming back. I'm going to clean it up this little, up a little bit more. We'll come back another day and we'll just spend the whole day right here. I'm going to grab my uh, cannon axle and head on back to the truck. And I'll come back here maybe in a couple of days. The rivers are still kind of high, but I can probably start getting back in them soon. You are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket, Mother Earth.